Welcome to Bible Quiz Channel. Get ready for 30 engaging questions about Lord Jesus. Are you up for this biblical challenge? Before we begin, please subscribe and like to help us share God's Word. After the quiz, don't forget to share your score in the comments. We're eager to hear from you. Are you prepared? Let's dive into the video. Question 1. Moses was born to Amram and Jochebed. What are your thoughts, true or false? Ponder for a moment. And so the answer is true. And Amram took him Jochebed, his father's sister, to wife. And she bare him Aaron and Moses. And the years of the life of Amram were an hundred and thirty and seven years. Book of Exodus, chapter 6, verse 20. Question 2. God appeared to Moses in a burning bush. Do you agree or disagree? True or false? Take a brief moment to think. The reveal shows us true. And the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a flame of fire out of the midst of a bush. And he looked, and behold, the bush burned with fire, and the bush was not consumed. And Moses said, I will now turn aside and see this great sight, why the bush is not burnt. And when the Lord saw that he turned aside to see, God called unto him out of the midst of the bush, and said, Moses, Moses. And he said, Here am I. Book of Exodus, chapter 3, verses 2 to 4. Question 3. Moses authored the book of Revelation. Your intuition, true or false? Please take 10 seconds to decide. The verdict is clear. It's false. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him, to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John. Gospel of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 1. Question 4. Moses flew to heaven in a chariot of fire. Is this statement true? or false in your opinion. Contemplate for 10 seconds. The appropriate response is false. And it came to pass as they still went on and talked that behold, there appeared a chariot of fire and horses of fire and parted them both asunder. And Elijah went up by a whirlwind into heaven. Second book of the Kings, chapter 2, verse 11. Question 5. Aaron, Moses' brother, was appointed to be his spokesman. What's your perspective, true or false? You have a moment to think. The awaited answer is true. And the anger of the Lord was kindled against Moses. And he said, Is not Aaron the Levite thy brother? I know that he can speak well. And also, behold, he cometh forth to meet thee. And when he seeth thee, he will be glad in his heart. And thou shalt speak unto him, and put words in his mouth. And I will be with thy mouth, and with his mouth, and will teach you what ye shall do. And he shall be thy spokesman unto the people, and he shall be, even he shall be to thee instead of a mouth, 
and thou shalt be to him instead of God. Book of Exodus, chapter 4, verses 14 to 16. Question 6. Moses built the first temple in Jerusalem. Do you concur, true or false? Take a short while to reflect. As it turns out, the answer is false. Moses did not build the first temple in Jerusalem. The first temple in Jerusalem, known as Solomon's Temple, was built by King Solomon, the son of King David. Question 7. God, through Moses, instituted the first Passover in Egypt. Your judgment, true or false, give it ten seconds of thought. Indeed, the answer is true, and thus shall ye eat it, with your loins girded, your shoes on your feet, and your staff in your hand, and ye shall eat it in haste. It is the Lord's Passover. Book of Exodus, chapter 12, verse 11. Question 8. Moses was the first high priest wearing the priestly garments. What does your insight say, true or false? Think for 10 seconds. Unveiling the answer, it is false. And take thou unto thee Aaron thy brother, and his sons with him, from among the children of Israel, that he may minister unto me in the priest's office, even Aaron, Nadab, and Abihu, Eleazar, and Ithamar, Aaron's sons. Book of Exodus, chapter 28, verse 1. Moses was not the first high priest wearing the priestly garments. The first high priest mentioned in the Bible is Aaron, who was appointed by God to serve in this role. Question 9. Moses wrote the book of Psalms. Would you say true or false? Let's take 10 seconds to consider. The accurate answer is false. The Book of Psalms was not written by Moses. The Book of Psalms is a collection of poetry and songs attributed to various authors, including King David, Asaph, and the sons of Korah. Question 10. Moses killed an Egyptian who was beating a Hebrew. How do you see it, true or false? A moment for your thoughts. Shedding light, the answer is true. And he looked this way and that way, and when he saw that there was no man, he slew the Egyptian and hid him in the sand. Book of Exodus, chapter 2, verse 12. Question 11. Moses was anointed king of Israel. What's your discernment, true or false? Reflect briefly. The precise answer is false. Moses was not anointed as king of Israel. In fact, the Israelites did not have a king during the time of Moses. Question 12. Moses defeated Goliath with a sling and a stone. In your view, is it true or false? Take a moment to ponder.
Factually, the answer is false. And David put his hand in his bag and took thence a stone and slang it and smote the Philistine in his forehead that the stone sunk into his forehead and he fell upon his face to the earth. First book of Samuel, chapter 17, verse 49. Moses did not defeat Goliath with a sling and a stone. It was actually David who defeated Goliath with a sling and a stone. Question 13. Moses was placed in a basket in the Nile River to save him from Pharaoh's edict. Is it factual or not? True or false? Think it over for 10 seconds. Upon reflection, the answer is true. And when she could not longer hide him, she took for him an ark of bulrushes and daubed it with slime and with pitch and put the child therein, and she laid it in the flags by the river's brink. Book of Exodus, chapter 2, verse 3. Question 14. God called Moses to deliver the Israelites out of Egypt. Your interpretation, true or false? Allow yourself 10 seconds to decide. The solution to this puzzle is true. Come now, therefore, and I will send thee unto Pharaoh, that thou mayest bring forth my people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. Book of Exodus, chapter 3, verse 10. Question 15. Pharaoh's daughter found and adopted Moses. Do you find it true or false? Reflect thoughtfully for a moment. The much-anticipated answer is true. And the daughter of Pharaoh came down to wash herself at the river, and her maidens walked along by the river's side. And when she saw the ark among the flags, she sent her maid to fetch it. And when she had opened it, she saw the child. And behold, the babe wept. And she had compassion on him and said, This is one of the Hebrews' children. Book of Exodus Chapter 2, verses 5 to 6. Question 16. Moses was swallowed by a great fish and lived inside it for three days. What's your conclusion, true or false? Take a brief pause to think. In essence, the answer is false. Now the Lord had prepared a great fish to swallow up Jonah, and Jonah was in the belly of the fish three days and three nights. Book of Jonah, chapter 1, verse 17. Question 17. Moses confronted Pharaoh, demanding that he let the Israelites go. True or false, according to your understanding? Reflect for 10 seconds. Conclusively, the answer is true. And afterward, Moses and Aaron went in and told Pharaoh, Thus saith the Lord God of Israel, let my people go that they may hold a feast unto me in the wilderness. Exodus 5.1 Question 18. Moses brought down the Ten Commandments from Mount Ararat. Is this claim true or false in your mind? Contemplate briefly.
divinely speaking, the answer is false. Moses brought down the Ten Commandments from Mount Sinai, not Mount Ararat. Question 19. Moses invented the chariot to lead the Israelites out of Egypt. What does your wisdom tell you? True or false? Ten seconds to think. With wisdom, we find the answer is false. And took off their chariot wheels, that they drave them heavily, so that the Egyptians said, Let us flee from the face of Israel, for the Lord fighteth for them against the Egyptians. Book of Exodus, chapter 14, verse 25. The Bible does not mention Moses inventing the chariot to lead the Israelites out of Egypt. Question 20. Moses was reluctant to accept God's call due to his speech impediment. True or false, from your perspective, give it a moment of thought. Illuminating our understanding, the answer is true. Book of Exodus, chapter 4, verse 10. And Moses said unto the Lord, O my Lord, I am not eloquent, neither heretofore, nor since thou hast spoken unto thy servant, but I am slow of speech and of a slow tongue. Question 21. Moses was known for his skill in blacksmithing. Your belief, true or false? Reflect for a short time. With patience, we reveal the answer is false. There is no verse in the Holy Bible that mentions Moses having any skills in blacksmithing. Question 22. Moses had two sons, Gershom and Eliezer. Is this assertion true or false in your assessment? Ponder for 10 seconds. The insight brings us to True and her two sons, of which the name of the one was Gershom. For he said, I have been an alien in a strange land. And the name of the other was Eliezer. For the God of my father, said he, was mine help and delivered me from the sword of Pharaoh. Book of Exodus chapter 18 verses 3 and 4. Question 23. Moses built an ark to survive a great flood. Your decision, is it true or false? Take a little time to think. Reflecting on the teachings, the answer is false. Make thee an ark of gopher wood. Room shalt thou make in the ark, and shalt pitch it within and without with pitch. Book of Genesis, chapter 6, verse 14. The statement provided is incorrect. Moses did not build an ark to survive a great flood. The story of building an ark to survive a great flood is actually associated with Noah, not Moses. Question 24. Moses was raised in Pharaoh's palace as an Egyptian prince. In your estimation, true or false? Contemplate for a brief moment. The answer in truth is true. And when he was cast out, 
Pharaoh's daughter took him up and nourished him for her own son. And Moses was learned in all the wisdom of the Egyptians and was mighty in words and in deeds. Gospel of Acts, chapter 7, verses 21 and 22. Question 25. Moses fled to the land of Midian to escape Pharaoh's anger. Exodus 2.15 Is this statement accurate or not? True or false? Reflect briefly. Revealing the true response, it is true. Now when Pharaoh heard this thing, he sought to slay Moses. But Moses fled from the face of Pharaoh and dwelt in the land of Midian, and he sat down by a well. Book of Exodus, chapter 2, verse 15. Question 26. Moses led a campaign against the Philistines in Gaza. Do you consider it true or false? Pause for 10 seconds to decide. Disclosed with care, the answer is false. According to the Bible, there is no record of Moses leading a campaign against the Philistines in Gaza. Question 27. Moses married Zipporah, the daughter of Jethro. What's your stance, true or false? Allow yourself a moment to think. Bringing light to the question, it's true. And Moses was content to dwell with the man, and he gave Moses Zipporah his daughter. Book of Exodus, chapter 2, verse 21. Question 28. Moses turned water into wine at the wedding in Cana. Is this fact or fiction? True or false? Think for a short while. Echoing wisdom, the answer is false. Gospel of John, chapter 2, verses 1 to 2. And the third day there was a marriage in Cana of Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there, and both Jesus was called and his disciples to the marriage. Question 29. Moses performed miracles with the staff given by God. From your viewpoint, True or false? Consider for 10 seconds. With discernment, the correct response is True, and thou shalt take this rod in thine hand, wherewith thou shalt do signs, Book of Exodus, chapter 4, verse 17. Question 30. Moses conducted animal sacrifices on Mount Moriah. Is it credible or not? True or false? Reflect for a brief period. Prophetically speaking, it's false. There is no mention in the Bible of Moses conducting animal sacrifices on Mount Moriah. We hope you had fun and learned something new. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more biblical quizzes. Please drop your score in the comments. We're eager to see how you did and hear what topics you'd like us to cover next. Thanks for watching. And until next time, stay sharp in your Bible knowledge.